Hello everyone, I'm Jill. Welcome back to my channel for a new video. Today we are doing a Instagram makeup life hacks tested. And I thought this would be really fun because one, I've never really done this, and two, I don't really know anything about makeup. So I thought it'd be cool to watch these Instagram hacks done by someone who like doesn't know how to do makeup. Because I feel like in all the videos on Instagram, it's like people who are really good at makeup and I'm not, so I thought this would be fun. A couple things before we get into the video. One, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Two, don't forget to check me out on my social media. And three, don't forget to vote for which video you guys wanna see next. There'll be a little eye right up here. You can click on it and there'll be two videos listed and you can choose which one you wanna see next on my channel. I've been loving doing this because I get to make exactly what you guys wanna see, which is really fun. And now I think let's just get into the video. I brought you in real close so you can get a better look at what is happening while I test these hacks. So this first hack is a little hard to test on camera, but luckily for you guys, the hack I've been using for like months now, um, ever since January, and now it's April. So uh, it's been a good little while, and this one is amazing. I happen to see it on Instagram, and it works amazingly. So that is to use rose water like for everything. So this is the Mara Badescu rose water, and it also has aloe and herbs in it, which I love, um, but they're definitely, I don't even remember how much this was, it wasn't that expensive, but there are even cheaper ones available on Amazon, and rose water is rose water as far as, far as I'm concerned. But you can use this for like a million things. I use it as a setting spray, as a toner. Sometimes I spray my pillow with it because it's nice and relaxing while you're going to sleep. Um, but mostly I use it as a toner. And what I love best about this is it really takes the redness out of my skin and also just sort of preps my skin for the makeup that I'm about to put on. Highly, highly recommend getting yourself some of this. And now I'm gonna go put my foundation on. I don't have any hacks for that. Just, just pretty and put it on. <laughs> and foundation is on. <laughs> so my next tip is when it comes to blush and making your face look a little bit more bronzy. If you are nice and white like me, then bronzing your face is super important probably because everyone wants a little bit of a nice summer bronze. So this next hack was to apply your blush. I'm using this Tarte Amazonia Clay Blush in Exposed, which is my favorite color. I have to load up my brush and get it in there. This color is seriously so pretty. I love it so much. And then the idea is that then you layer your bronzer over top of that and it's gonna make your face look super, super bronzy. So I have my Hoola bronzer, which I love, and I'm just gonna do it on one side and we're gonna look at the difference. I'm not really sure that this will make that big of a difference, but we'll see. I don't know, this one is sort of hard to tell how well it worked. What do you guys think? This side has the bronzer and this side doesn't. Um, I think it probably made me more bronzy, but I don't know if it made enough of a difference for me to like add this step into my routine during the day. All right, our next hack is using a fork to fill in your eyebrows. I don't know that I really see the point of this because I can just fill in my freaking eyebrows, but whatever, we're trying things, so let's do it. So my benefits perfect my brow pencil, yes. And um, actually, how do I do this while holding a mirror? The problem that I'm already running into is that like my brows are sort of rounded. I don't have like that straight line. That's not really the look I like. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my gosh, look, I, I drew this line like out in the wrong direction. Oh my gosh. You know what? This hack sucks. Maybe if you have like really structured brows, it would be better for you, but like literally I can just go in like this with my brows and create the exact shape that I want. I mean, look at that brow, no fork needed. This is just, that was a silly one and a fail. All right, this next hack was to use liquid lipstick as eyeshadow. I get this as a base. I don't think I'd get it as like a full eyeshadow look, but I'm just gonna apply all of my lid and sort of see what it ends up looking like. So this is the Lime Crime, I think, Velveteen um, liquid lipstick in cashmere. I'm gonna try this two different ways, one applying directly in my lid and one using my finger. Um, my guess is using your finger is the better move, but what they did was apply directly to their lid, so I'm gonna give that a try first. Okay, and then blend it out. It definitely doesn't look bad as like an eyeshadow base or just like as an all over color. Like I could definitely leave the house like this, I think. A little bit more blending action. Try it like using a finger, which I think this will be better for like getting a better amount on there. Like so much ended up on that other lid. Because here, 
and a little bit more control. Okay, so on this side, it did like end up down here and now it's dried and it won't go away with just blending with my fingers. Um, so I'm gonna use my beauty blender here. I think I would actually do this one. Like this is, this is pretty good. I dig it, I'm in. I like this one a lot. So this next hack, I already have a feeling will be an absolute fail for me. Just absolute fail. So this is to apply liquid eyeliner to a string and use it as a guideline for your liner. I'm already terrible at liner and this seems hard, so I don't really know what we're gonna do about this yet. Oh my gosh, okay, and then I think you gotta move pretty darn quick. Should have been better prepared for this. Okay, all right, wait. Wait, wait, wait. This, let's give this another, another shot. Okay. I can maybe, maybe get on board with this. I mean, like, that gave me like a pretty good starting line, right? And then like, I can actually go in with it and apply it, like using that guideline. The problem is, is that the string didn't really go the way I like my liner to go and and now it's just a mess. <laughs> I think this one has the potential to work, but the problem is that like hacks are supposed to save time and I don't know that that's really saving time. I think that's like wasting time. I'm gonna have to go fix these and, and then I'll be back, but I don't know. Wouldn't recommend giving that one a try. So I have a secret to share with you guys. This whole video, I have had a mascara. <laughs> shoved down my shirt <laughs> um and that is because apparently i'm just gonna put this back in here yeah <laughs> apparently um if you keep mascara in your shirt while you're doing the rest of your makeup it'll get warmed up and apply better so i have a little sample version of that same mascara so we're going to test the room temperature versus in my bra temperature <laughs> so we're gonna do room temperature first right over here so as I'm sure everyone can see, this mascara really isn't all that special. And now for my bra version. Um, it definitely feels warm, like the packaging feels warm. So this might actually have made a difference. I feel like it applied smoother. And I think, I think maybe my lashes do look a little bit different from each other. I'm gonna fix these guys up using the bra version. Warming mascara on your bra. Apparently a very effective life hack. So I'm not totally sure how this next hack will work, but the idea is that if you have a lipstick that has broken off, you can reattach it using a lighter. So I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and chop a little, a little part of this lipstick off and see what happens. There it goes. Lipstick is broken in half. <laughs> now I think what you do is you take this lipstick and you like put it back on and then you take your lighter and you like melt it back together. I really don't know about this. Okay, let's just try it. Oh my gosh, it is melting so fast, like right away. But it's not really melting together, it's just melting. Meld this guy back together. Okay, so technically all of the cracks are filled now from being melted together. <laughs> and um, it, it is all dry, it dries very quickly after you are done lighting it. So I guess what we're gonna do is we're just gonna see if when I apply this, if it like falls apart, which I think it will. Wait a second. I'm applying like a normal amount of pressure. Like I'm not taking it easy on it and it's like staying together. Oh. There it goes. That answers our question. This life hack does not work. Great. Oh no, it looks like I got on my new shirt. Look at this, you guys, on my new freaking shirt. And that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe. That way you don't miss out on more videos and on whatever video you voted for right on that eye. And if you haven't done that yet, do it, do it now. Also, don't forget to check out my vlog channel where I do almost daily vlogs. I've sort of been slacking lately, but I'm gonna get back to it, don't you worry. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.